Hey everyone, welcome to a day in the life of my kitchen. This video is part of a collaboration hosted by Fiona in her kitchen. Be sure to check out her channel for simple and delicious home cooking and to see the playlist of everyone who participated in this collab. I realize that this is not in fact my kitchen, but each of my days begins with a walk with Dottie. I've been a little bit absent from YouTube and that is because Dottie had a seizure about a week ago. We had a scary couple of days, I'm not gonna lie, but her personality has started to return. We think she's gonna be okay. She has a follow-up appointment with her vet in a couple of weeks and I will keep everyone posted on how she's doing. Good morning. Ho, 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 ho. Very stretchy. Very stretchy. <gasps> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> While I was out shopping, I was super tempted to pick up Panda Express for lunch. But then I remembered we have mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's in the freezer. And so that is what I'm going to have for lunch. So I'm going to try to cook this in the air fryer and see how it turns out. While I'm making my lunch, I thought I would do a really quick grocery haul for you. I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Safeway for just a very few things. So here's what I got at Trader Joe's. Dog treats for Dottie. These Cinna Dragons are so good. If you love those chewy cinnamon bears, you're gonna love these. A two pound bag of mandarin oranges, a dozen eggs. I buy about a dozen eggs per week. I got these Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies. These are just like Tim Tams. Very, very addictive. So only got one box of those. Fresh pineapple, tiny cucumbers. I'm gonna be making some refrigerator pickles from these. And these are also gonna go in a salad that I'm making. Mixed salad greens, some green onions, and a green pepper. I'm gonna try to make the celestial salad that Jerry Ellen made on her channel, but I don't care for celery. That might come as a surprise to some of you. So I'm gonna sub in that green pepper. At Safeway, which is right next door to Trader Joe's, I got a loaf of sourdough bread. Cake slices were on sale for a dollar. What was I supposed to do? So I got, I got one slice of cake for Ed and I to split. Another thing I couldn't find at Trader Joe's I needed some egg roll wrappers. I'm going to be experimenting with some things in egg roll wrappers in the air fryer. I got these two bolillo rolls. Blah, 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 that's hard to say. Bolillo rolls. I really like them for like a baked or pressed sandwich. That is everything I got. Here's my finished plate. I threw in some frozen stir fry vegetables. So I'm going to dig into this now. I am making 
Detroit style pizza for dinner, which means I have to start the dough a few hours in advance. I use the Serious Eats recipe that J. Kenji Lopez Alt created, perfected, whatever you want to say. And I will link that down below. Actually, I'll go ahead and link all of the recipes that I am mentioning down below. I realize that I've sort of brought up several. So links to every single one will be in the description. feeling a little bit hungry so I think I'm gonna have some of this fresh pineapple that I got today. It's about 3 45 in the afternoon and I have a couple of hours until my dough rises and then I have to let it rise again once it's in the pan so it's, it's a little ways until dinner. This pizza was probably my favorite meal of the entire week. I served it up with a side salad and a Detroit style pizza needs to be served with a Detroit style beverage. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting this together. Be sure to check out Fiona's channel for a playlist of all of the videos in this collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.